This king and as good as Byzantine foot over in Ampella and Bella is pure and Jenga's pure and good and good. I never believed with the temples of Lala with such great people. I don't know if Katarak is or in the township, no ways. This information is just out of this world. It's just, it, it, Prati is a, is a book all by himself. Angati and Seko, Goba Nomang Tanda, and Tata so. Prati was very patient with Jimmy. Uh, he spent hours, like uh, late nights with Jimmy, uh, going through chords. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy now is a superstar. Jimmy. <laughs> first of all, you know, when I first saw him a stage, I was like, yo, my goodness. Lendo is your first stage, Pella Lendo. Tim has got such a fluid style of playing and it's such a, a rootsy kind of thing and he's got the ability to switch from mainstream jazz to Mbakanga. He's been able to borrow from Mamanyama genres like e jazz and fuse it into Yoguza Mbakanga. His style of playing is unique. The way he voices his guitar, the way he solos, the way he approaches a song, it's just heavenly and it's out of this world. Arthur got us a gig at the market warehouse to perform. Butemba did not make it. But I legacy It was a time I remember very well when we all knew of him as a drunkard, you know. To be very, very honest and blatant, sometimes Gibson would treat him like a dog. But he was this young, gifted boy from Natal, it's just sad because they, came, they all came up to Johannesburg, Moba. that's where things were happening. Uh, but when he takes his guitar, it's getting like a Kuluma. Uba Butemba Mkwena, a great musician, um, a great guitarist, improviser, and a backing musician. You know, I, we, some of us, we grew up listening to music, Baba. Uh, who keeps in the now, we love our little old Paul Simon Wooden feel. But feel him, man.